Welcome to the Lego London bus in London's Leicester Square. You can see the maybe a bit if you squint the uh, UK flagship store for Lego. Obviously, it's very exciting. We have a Lego London bus inside a London bus. It's slightly surreal, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Please welcome Morton and Jamie. Yes. Thank you for having us. It's such a pleasure to be here. Yes. We're here to talk about this, and I have so many questions, all of which are very, very nerdy. So let's begin. Yes. Where did this come from as an idea? Well, uh, we uh, come up with uh, several like cool uh, vehicles, and uh, we brainstorm what uh, would be a nice Lego model, and then uh, we go directly to start building. And, mm -hmm. and uh, when we started building this uh, bus, we saw uh, quite quickly that we there was something there, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. so this is one of those models that we build several models trying to explore what to make, and this is just one that when people stop. And go, ah, <laughs> cool. That gives you a hint you got a good one. And so it really helped uh, help to stand out from the crowd. I was digging through the history of Lego London buses, and this is not the first one by any means. No. But they've all been just a little bit smaller. Like, just a little bit. Just a little bit. It depends mm -hmm. how close you go to it. That's true. Because they all always seem a little bit smaller when you get further away. Perspective is a beautiful <laughs> thing. This, and I've got the details here, we have 1,680 pieces, yes. and it's 18 centimetres high, 34 centimetres long, and 13 centimetres wide. Mm -hmm. With this much more space, what were you able to do with it that previous LEGO London buses weren't able to do? Put in a lot of seats. So <laughs> a lot of seats. <laughs> so it actually has a really, uh, like, uh, uh, a lot of seats, mm -hmm. and, uh, and also... Uh, uh, a lot of detail, it, obviously. Yeah, details... The big uh, banners on the side that uh, the London buses have. Should we show that now? Because you can turn yeah. this. You can make this bus go back in time. Yeah. Let's, so you, let's you go back to the 50s, shall we? Yeah. You flip it. There we go. Yeah. Because in the 50s they loved biscuits. Yes, mm -hmm. they did. They still like biscuits. That's, mm -hmm. that's actually quite true. Maybe that's because I'm getting towards my 50s. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so you got little. You know, that's obviously awesome. But inside, should we lift the, lift the lid? Yeah. yeah. So this one comes off. Mm -hmm. It can be placed either way, mm -hmm. and also the top section comes off like here. Yeah, it's also awesome. this is really the first time we've been able to show the full London bus. I mean, the other ones were always more of the the image of a London bus. This is the experience of a London bus. If you've ever been on one like we are now, I think you get a sense of how special it is. There's no other vehicle in the world <laughs> that gives you this experience. Mm. Uh, so yeah, I think Morton's really been able to capture a lot of those little mini stories and a lot of the, the charm of the interior as well. Mm. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about the interior. Um, yeah. You're just going to have to trust us what we're talking about here. Mm -hmm. So we have a little used ticket box, mm -hmm. just if you mind. Yeah. Just there, you can see it, very, very tiny one there. Mm -hmm. And we have bubble gum, I believe, is that on the top deck? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, let's have a look at the bubble gum. <laughs> Well, good luck with that one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> under that one, that seat, so it's a bit hard to see, but uh, under this seat, there's a little uh, pink bubble gum. Of that's course. Somebody By the way, I think there. this may be the first time we are choosing used bubble gum as a selling feature <laughs> for one of our products. <laughs> there is so much detail in this product. <laughs> yeah. And a soda can in the front. Yeah. Uh, newspaper in the newspaper, back. of course. Yeah. If anybody's been on a London bus, it's yes. essentially a repository for newspapers. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The spiral staircase. I is, love that. Uh, yeah, it's really a cool uh, build as well because you yeah. build it in sections and then you kind of step it as you go up and uh, then you lock it on top. Ah. Mm. And how long does it take for an idea to become a set like this? Um, I think about a year, because um, because we, we we make concepts and then we we uh, talk about them and uh, so 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 there's other designers that have been working on the sketch model for this as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I was uh, the lucky one to to actually yeah. make it a set. Were you actually like observing London buses and like going to London and inspecting them? And well, I, I was living here for three years uh, when, when I was uh, studying. Mm -hmm. uh, as a product we designer. We don't normally send designers away for three years to study buses. <laughs> Do you not? Know? Okay, uh, right. This Interesting. Special, this was special. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but uh, double-decker buses are close to my heart. Mm -hmm. I used to like buy a travel card and just <laughs> get get the seat in the yeah. front here. <laughs> yeah, and th and just take it to the end station and see and actually do a bit of sightseeing and explore London that way and then hop on the tube, go back, 
take a new bus to the other dire direction and explore London. Yeah, I thought I was the only person who did that. Yes, I have mm -hmm. <laughs> done that. Yeah. Uh, what I like in particular about this is that you put in possibly one of the best Lego puns ever. Mm -hmm. With at the front, you can see this bus is going to Brixton, mm -hmm. which is brilliant because that's <laughs> that's actually how it sounds as, <laughs> as well. But just to like highlight what else is going on here. Yeah. Who came up with these puns here? Yeah, we, we have a pretty creative group of people. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and I think we always see everything through a Lego lens, so there's always really cheesy, terrible puns <laughs> yeah. all the time. And also the graphic designer who did the stickers and stuff, yeah. he had some inputs as well. I bet he did. Yeah. He had like but, a but, huge long list, I'm sure. Yeah, but on the height T requires quality biscuits, then we had some English uh, designers to approve, you know, that does it sound good and yeah. stuff, you know, because we, we were going back and forth, you know, but, but we... Uh, there was a lot of discussion about what's tea time versus uh, high tea, and yeah. what's an appropriate tea, what's an appropriate biscuit, and... Yeah. Elevens is, should we? Yeah. Mm, probably not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a lot of uh, British designers, and uh, they could yeah. uh, be come in and be... I bet they were walking into a room all the time going, oh yeah? Yeah, no, what are you doing here? Yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of them trying to get their own thing in there uh -huh. because they have a connection with something. Yeah. Mm. And what is your favorite part of designing something as, as impressive as this? And as iconic, obviously. Um, is it the wheels? Because I know they are unique to this set. Mm. Yeah, the, the, they're kind of the missing wheel because we, we have this, this, uh, this design mm. uh, or this size of mm -hmm. wheel. We had it from before, but it has a more kind of... Uh, off-roady thread, ah. so so this now it's uh, more um, uh, like kind of generic type. street. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we. I mean, I saw you talking about this outside. That this bus that we're in right now, the Lego London bus, actually has these wheels. Mm. Yeah. And you go, yeah, we got it right. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we actually have the set right there. Yeah. Should we have a little look at it? You betcha. And now it just magically appears. Here it is. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Can we right. do that for other things? Just yeah. magically appears. Can I have a like a massive pile of gold? Can we, I feel can so we do tiny that? now. <laughs> so tell me more about this. Right, let's open up this beautiful thing. Are we opening it? Yeah, let's do it. Wow, fantastic. One of the best parts mm -hmm. is actually opening out. So, so, how many versions did you get through before you landed on this? How many prototypes did you have? I guess about. Four, yeah, mm -hmm. and, and then uh, the last one is of course a uh, reloop and reloop and uh, uh, tweaking and yeah and continuous changing the model. Um, this is the best part. It's the and, best and, part. And, and the first sketch oh. I was working on, it actually had sideways built w w windows and stuff, and it was oh. very fragile, but it looked also really good. And so we wanted to kind of keep that looks, but uh, mm -hmm. also make it stable and strong and, and uh, mm. easier to build, of course. What you've done, if you know London buses, you'll know that they have very, very poor air circulation. So you've kept that here. <laughs> you've kept that here, which is a really lovely touch. Mm. So here we have, obviously, mm. the whole thing. Are there any pieces that you'd like to highlight uh, that one. stand out for you? This one no. here. <laughs> we see here, we've got a ticket here. here. Let's, Let's get a ticket out. Yeah. All right. Hope the sound guys are picking up all these. Is the umbrella there as well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we have an umbrella. All right. But I think one of the cool things first to realize is that like the the build of the model is actually separated by numbers. So when you build that bottom part, you just have to open the bag one, and then you actually have the different stages that you can take apart. And the bonus ticket. Yes. You have gone a little bit retro with the bus. Mm hmm. You know, it is obviously a route master, and it is like well, a style of with with the you know spiral staircase and all the rest. That was obviously a, a clear design decision from the off to keep it a little bit old school and more mm. traditional. Mm. Um, and also with with a bus like this, you have obviously the license plates. Yeah. And I know you can change those slightly, mm. can't you? To yeah. kind of change the era. Yeah. Yeah, we do that to match the like, just like you can go back in time with the. Uh, the advertisements. Mm -hmm. uh, we also made it so that we had the authentic colors and yeah. uh, style with, of the old. Yeah. With the vintage uh, look, then you can go to the b black license plates and the, and the white and the yellow for the more modern look. Mm. So. And how long, you know, we put all these, you know, the bags are all out here. If we were to just pause the live stream or not and build it, how long would this take to make, would you say? Uh, when, when I did the product a verification and building, uh, it took me three hours, but then then I'm really thorough and stuff. So, <laughs> so. Also because it's like yours. Yeah. You've got to get it just right. Yeah. yeah, and if you don't clutch the bricks right, then it's not 
strong and so, so well, yeah. <laughs> I think it does vary. I hear some people say, you know, something that some, one person says takes three hours, another person took a weekend. Yeah. And it's just sometimes how much you really want to share the moments or enjoy the different parts. And so something like this, I think, does offer an opportunity for storytelling along the way. Uh, like Morton talking about going on that trip, going to the end of the line. Mm -hmm. I think these things do surface while you're building and then uh, you're always grateful if someone's nearby to hear it because exactly. then you get to share it. Look, we all have different building styles. Like I'm a saverer, like I'd be you know, definitely mm. having fun with this. And yeah. I've been told there's a story about a lost umbrella that we need to be told about. Yeah, Morton? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, uh, Lester was riding the bus. Lester, yes. yes. Lester. Uh, Have you met Lester? Of course you've met Lester. We've met Lester. Yeah. <laughs> we got pictures with him outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we hang yeah. out all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it was raining, so he was uh, carrying his umbrella. He, he put it in the umbrella holder in the back of the bus. Mm -hmm. Just that? Yeah, and then he went uh, up to the top floor mm -hmm. and uh, riding along in London. And uh, then he, he, all of a sudden there was, he passed the... Uh, Hyde Park, and there was uh, really nice and sunny. Mm -hmm. So he ran out. He, he got out at the closest uh, stop mm -hmm. and uh, totally forgot his umbrella. We've all been there. Yeah. Yeah. I felt the same way the first time I saw the sun in London. <laughs> I was. It was breathtaking. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> the was a true. Um, right. So uh, I put to ask some general questions about you and your jobs. Remind us again what it is that you do. What are your titles, and how long have you been designers? Yeah. Well, I've been with Lego for 10 years now, mm -hmm. uh, nearly 11 actually, uh, and um, I'm a senior designer in Creator, usually working on 3-in-1, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I was asked to do an expert model, and, uh, and uh, therefore I, I did this, mm -hmm. and I've also been in uh, other projects, such as uh, Lego Minecraft and, uh, ah, okay. and Disney Princess. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> this is a little bit different to that, I think it's fair yeah. to say. Yeah. But it's cool, because we get to try different lines and uh, mm -hmm. how they work and stuff so mm -hmm. yeah and yeah. what are you currently working on now now that you've done this uh, i'm working on the concept for 19 actually wow okay yeah, yeah. and uh, and that's um, of course uh, confidential stuff of course <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah. i'm just going to pass this over to our tech team yeah. but it's it's going to be really cool Mm. Cool 19. Mm. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Fine. I, I, need a, I need a little break just to release this tire. Please release the tire. This is a unique element. This is just making me happy to see that it can breathe now. Here it is. There's something about the air quality in that bag that wasn't <laughs> quite satisfying. But Good. we've got the nice rim in dark red for the first time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then that beautiful tire. Mm -hmm. That makes me happy. That's There's something great. about our tires. It's like... That's currency. That's like when you guys get a pound coin in your hand. Yes. Mm -hmm. It just feels like it's something nice. Mm -hmm. so. I love it as well because it has that, you, you just heard the noise of when it just connects, clicks in. Can you pick this up? Mm -hmm. That's a happy sound. That's a happy sound. There you go. <laughs> that's a unique element. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a key part of the bus is having the curved edges too. Yeah. Are any of these unique or different? Uh, well, it was quite nice when I got this piece to fit in yeah. with, with that many studs in such a such a tight corner mm -hmm. um, so, so that was uh, yeah it's fit fitted on by five studs there and so this kind of this piece uh, kind of decides the whole uh, design of the bus mm -hmm. and and the smoothness of this uh, this curb mm -hmm. so so it was we worked hard to kind of get this yeah, I think especially this back section was where you put the most effort mm. because uh, it's so iconic for the bus to get this, this curvature on on the ends. Yeah, you can I see know. it right here. Yeah. yeah, and then the back especially is just mm. it's so pronounced. Yeah. Um, but then to do that in a way that actually continues with the other bricks because curves are particularly difficult yep. in uh, Lego form. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think Morton did a great job actually not only tying this down but really making a nice strong back section. Uh, yeah. Because we're having to cut out so much, that's another area mm. that's tricky because it separates. And that's, so a, that's a key part of it, right? A, you yeah. wanted to build it knowing that you want people to take it apart. And then when you do that and you end up having an opening here, it's a, it's a vulnerability. Mm. It's a potential weak spot, but I think Morton actually did a really good job of coming up with some strong ways to build it. Mm. I should point out at this, uh, this juncture that you know we've been marveling at this for a long time. You're probably thinking, I really, really want that. Yeah. Well, you can buy it, but we've got a little something else as well. We are going to get you guys to sign this very Lego bus. Lego bus. Okay, the one in the box. The box. <laughs> Fine. And then you have a chance to win it. Now, just 
bear that in mind. I want you to leave a comment and a question below and you will be within uh, a chance of winning that set. So I have a question. Can please. I, can I win it too? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, like, I want to speak to our people. And yeah. I think, mm. No, that's okay. We All can right. share. Mm. So we're going to put everything back in its bags, don't worry. Mm -hmm. And then you'll have a chance to win the set and sign the box. So that's exciting, right? Now we will be back at 4.30 uh, later today and we want your questions for a Q&A with these guys. So please do send in your questions. You can either leave the questions in the uh, Facebook uh, below, but you can also tweet at us, uh, and you can let us know what you'd like these guys to answer. So there's that. And also just to let you know, if you're desperate to buy this, you can at one of five different uh, LEGO stores across uh, the London area. We've got, obviously, uh, the LEGO flagship store just behind us in Leicester Square. There's also uh, London, Stratford City, uh, Westfield, uh, Watford, and Bluewater. Um, and if you come here to Leicester Square before three, you could be part of the Bright Bricks Mosaic. So you can join in on that, which is a lot That's of fun. Cool. I'll be doing that, by the yeah. way. Um, so, again, it's available here and the four other stores in the London area. And please don't forget to send in your questions below or on Twitter. And the price for this beautiful thing is uh, in pounds, £109.99. So that's £109.99. pence. It has been such a lot of fun talking to you guys yeah, cool. about yeah. this, and we will be talking to you again at four thirty. Yes. So set alarms in your phone. Yeah, four thirty. Make us some good questions. Yes, please. Yeah, I want to see Morton sweat. Yes, <laughs> really, really. <Yeah. laughs> what is it? What is it to be human? No, we're not going to do that. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, you guys. And again, we'll be back at four thirty. Great. Thanks. Thank you.